Hey guys, so something really cool I wanted to start the video off uh, telling you guys about. Um, it's a sponsor that we've got now called uh, CastlemaniaGames.com. Um, you should definitely go check them out. Uh, he set up a coupon code PSP1010, and if you put that in, it'll give you a 10% discount on you know anything you order and also you get free shipping on uh, orders that are twenty dollars or more which that's not bad you know uh, if you're gonna buy game gaming stuff chances are you're gonna spend over twenty bucks anyways so um, check him out He's just a, just a guy like me trying to get by in this video gaming world and um, from what I understand uh, we've they've now have a uh, hundred percent more flying horse heads which is you know it was about time so uh once again check them out castlemaniagames.com coupon code psp1010 thanks guys i appreciate it rated f for fucking awesome Hey guys, it's Timothy Tim, and I'm here. It's finally here. Uh, it's finally time to unveil the Batman PSP. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this hard case. And um, yeah, I put a lot of work into this. I know I've been talking about it for a while, and um, we just had other orders and stuff that I had to get to, but it's here. Oh, and it's so cool. I know I'm, I'm being uh, boastful because it's partly my work, but... Fuck yeah, I'm always excited. Every time I make one of these videos, I'm excited because I gotta be excited to make a video. So uh, yeah, Kate Crusader, DC Comics, new movies coming out. Uh, just, I've been a fan since, you know, Adam West and the Zang Pow shit to one of my all time favorites, uh, Michael Keaton. I even own the Laserdisc. And, uh, for a different reason, uh, Batman and Robin, because it's just a shitty movie. Anyways, um, here I am teasing you. Q, the inspirational, is suspenseful bat music. Okay, and here it is. All right, now at first, it just looks like a clean PSP 2000 with silver buttons, but let me show you what else it's got. Okay, first off, yeah, it's got some extras. 64 gigs on board, and it's got a battery pack backup, and other than the sweet ass let me let the light hit that motherfucker. Sweet ass Batman logo. I really wanted this to have a Batman feel, just like Batman's utility belt. This thing has an extended battery. Extended battery for the PSP, as well as this clip-on battery pack with the claw grip on it. And um, as you can see, I've got it plugged in and all you can keep this plugged in continuously hard to do looking through the camera boom charges the PSP and it runs off of course the internal battery and you can use the same PSP charger um, to charge them both up and I, I tell you I tried to do a test on the battery on this and it literally lasted for fucking ever um, I think it was like after eight hours of me trying to like continuously wake it up you know because the PSP will fall asleep um, I can just tell you that I, I don't know if you're if you're taking a flight to Gotham City wherever that is uh, 
the, the, this thing should hold you up. And with 64 gigs, oh man, I can't wait to show you all the software on this. Um, and as far as the battery life goes, this is a major butt kicker. And um, I had some people ask me, say, hey, make a Batman PSP. I intended to do it a um, long time ago. And uh, so I finally have it now. And I'm just happy with how everything came together. So it's just really cool. And uh, I just, I got to say, I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little nervous, you know, just in the past, some of the PSP videos that, I don't know, they, they kind of started out with uh, positive energy and, and stuff, but, you know, they've gone, they've gone bad, um, you know, um, but hey, Batman is a, uh, he's a superhero, right? There's, there's nothing bad that's gonna happen here. Yeah, let's be positive. What? What's that? Hey, hey, Batman. Hey. Oh. Ah. All right, guys, here we go. All booted up. Check out the custom. Let me get that case out of the way. Custom. Oh, wait a minute. Before I show you that, um, I had a friend that um, suggested that I show you guys um, maybe what the uh, condition of some of the PSPs are in before I work on them. So real quick, I wanted to show you this uh, ratty ass faceplate that came with this PSP. I don't know if you can see here. Let me turn the light back on and... Oh, yeah, look at the fucking scratches. Ugh, ugly. Yeah, no way. Can you imagine? Oh, poor sad. It literally looks like somebody let their cat play with it. So, yeah, uh, fuck that. Um, okay. There you go. All right, now let's get into the what the PSP has. Um... I uh, went through several um, kind of attempts to do a uh, background um, to try to kind of get the feel that I wanted for the PSP. And um, this is what I arrived on, uh, the silhouette, just like that decal on the back that came out so, so well for my vinyl guy that just does a great job on the PSP and um, uh, on, those, on those vinyl decals. So I um, want to just show you everything it's got. 64 gigs. All right. Uh, old school is, is like you remember it. Um, nothing special there. Yeah, what am I saying? Nothing special. We've got complete sets of games outside of Sega CD and N64 that, you know, just works okay on the PSP. Um, this is just still got everything you want. And gosh, with all that battery life, plus not having to operate any discs or use the UMD drive, it literally is going to last you for fucking ever. If there was, if there was a a way to keep time and and one of those time keeping devices was um for fucking ever this would qualify so um okay let's just quickly go down the list again all right let me speed it up for you people that have seen my psps in the past you see all these menus and stuff were done by me. Um, and uh, all the old Batman games are on here. Um, especially, you know, the ones for the NES, which were just so much fun. Um, and so well made with, with only 8 bits to deal with. Um, we've got the stuff for Sega, Sega Genesis. Um, <clears throat> some Batman games on the Game Gear. Literally every platform... Um, really decided to uh, try to accommodate the Dark Knight with a game. Um, even going back to some of the older, oldest school systems 
like the Atari and of course the Lynx, um, uh, 7800. Um, I don't know if there's one for the Intellivision. You can totally find out. I know there's a bunch for the Game Boy. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff in there for Commodore. A lot of Commodore games. Um, Vectrex. It'd be cool. I don't, I don't think there's a Batman game, but I'm pretty sure there's a racing style game. You can pretend you're in the Batmobile. Yes, the Bandai Wonderswan. Maybe the best experience you'll have in gaming. Not ever. Okay, Capcom Play System. These are your Coin Opt Arcade. And I threw in Magnavox Odyssey here. Very old school. One of the beginning. And then we drop down to Arcade Classics. Back to the arcade. Midway Arcade. That's all your Mortal Kombat. Neo Geo. And a tribute to Mr. James Ralphie, the angry video game nerd. And this is just a collection of all the games he hates. Um, but thanks to the ability to uh, save your game and rewind your gameplay in NES with the left and right buttons, um, those games don't suck as much. Old school hacks. There we go. And this is a link to the past Super Nintendo hacks. We've got one of my favorite hacks, Sonic Mega Mix, going down to a complete collection of, of the best Sonic ROM hacks. If you don't know what ROM hacks are, that's when someone takes a existing game and tweaks it and adds new levels, new gameplay, new style, new colors, new bosses, new kick-ass stuff. Super Nintendo, complete set, Mega Man games as well as Mega Man hacks, enjoy it, play it, Mega Man is so kick-ass. Um, the best Ghostbusters game that ever came out on the 8-bit. NES hacks, and then going down here to Castlevania hacks. We got a lot of content to cover here, people. Alright, PlayStation 1. Whew. The list goes on and on. All right, uh, here's the Batman game. Uh, I thought that it was uh, very, very well done. The, I think, what is this, the Batman Forever game? Um, that's a fun game to play. And I tried to keep with an arcade style on this. Um, you know, the whole Batman kind of thing just, just makes me think of arcades and beat-em-ups. That's why I put Tomb Raider on there. We've got Guilty Gear, the Die Hard Trilogy. If you haven't played it, check it out. Strider 2. Got some NBA games. Tekken, definitely got to have a lot of fighting games. Capcom, SNK, uh, X-Men, Children of the Atom, Bloody Roar 2. Uh, Primal Rage, there we go, Mortal Kombat 4, uh, Samurai Showdown that came out on the PS1, then we go Mega Man 8, and X4, X5, and I believe X6 is here, um, and then we go down to, oh, uh, Tempest X, which is a really fun update to uh, the Tempest original uh, arcade game that came out way, way, way in the past. Makes me feel old. Uh, Castlevania. Duke Nukem. Final Doom. Uh, some role-playing games. The Lunar Stuff. Tenshu. Stealth Assassins. Fun-ass game. You gotta go with Metal Gear. Represent that shit. Castlevania Chronicles. Uh, it just... The list just keeps going on, man. I mean, this PSP has everything you want and all the battery life um, that you can play. Oh, don't let me skip past Alone in the Dark. We're going to be doing a Alone in the Dark PSP sometime in the future. That thing is going to be sweet when I get it done. Uh, Soul Reaver, Oddworld, 
Silent Hill. And then, of course, your Resident Evil games, um, all set up with uh, even multi-disc games where you can swap discs in menu. Ooh, PSP minis. We'll do this really quickly. Uh, PSP minis were downloadable content that you could have in the past. Um, um, just little short, easy, fun games if you got a little bit of time to kill but don't want to get too serious into an adventure. Um, PSP minis are the way to go. And yeah, it's just... Look at all the games. It's so many games. And Pac-Man Championship Edition, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you get a PSP, I have played this game on the PSP for me that you get. And um, try to beat my high score. I dare ya. All right. PSP games. Get ready, because check out the loading time. We got a lot of them on here. Yeah. Keep loading, baby. Any second now, bring that list up. Oh, here we go. Star Wars Battlefront. Kill Zone. NBA Street Showdown. Street 2. Bat Lego Batman. Dude, fun game. Never played it? You should. Yeah, check it out. Undead Knights. Ghosts and Goblins? Yeah, they made one for the PSP, and it's just as challenging, but um, it's fun if you can hang. Do I need to say anything more? Twisted Metal. God, there's so many games on this thing. Yeah, I had to throw in the Ninja Turtles with much respect to the inner child when it's coming to Batman. Here's a double uppercut Street Fighter 3. Uh, uh, Alpha Max 3, what the fuck? Uh, Zero, I'm sorry. It was, this is Alpha Max 3. I was Sorry, guys, I was getting ahead on the list. Soul Calibur. Sonic Rivals. Sonic Rivals 2. Silent Hill Origins, Rocky Balboza, Ridge Racer, and oops, Ridge Racer in there again. Um, I will take that off of there and swap it out with something else. Oh, fucking Sonic Rifles in there again. Okay, I got two games to take off of here, but don't worry. I will um, update that list with something cool. Um, check the description, and I'll go ahead and write in there um, what I swapped it out with, if you are curious. Miami Vice, Metal Gear, Portable Ops. We got Batman coming in here. Metal Gear Acid. More Mega Man stuff. Oh my gosh. Lumenis. It's really fun. Tetris style game. Little Big Planet. Oh my god. This thing's got all the hits. Infected. Fun zombie game. Half Minute Hero. Uh, check that out. Great RPG. Grip Shift. Fun uh, driving game. God of War games, both of them. And we always have to take a break to celebrate Ghostbusters. Custom menu I put together. I am a fan, ladies and gentlemen. A game that's voiced by the original cast. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. Much respect. All right, moving on. If I can bring myself to move on. Update to Frogger. Are you tired yet from this exhausting games list? Uh, honestly, I'm surprised I only duplicated uh, two games. Daxter. We saw Jack and Daxter up there earlier. 
Here's a Castlevania game that came out for the PSP. Burnout Legends, one of my favorite racing games. I just love that taking risks and stuff um, increases your uh, nitrous meter. Assassin's Creed. You want to be an assassin? Well, uh, follow the creed there, buddy. All right? And we've got a syndrome. And it's due to aliens. Play the game. Oh, fucking Daxter's in there twice. Fucking Daxter. All right, we are going to get him out there. Okay, hey. I'm going to update that games list and get that figured out. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, we will have uh, newer games on there. But, you know, I was just so excited that when I had this done that I wanted to show you guys uh, everything that it had that I just couldn't, oh, I just couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist myself. And uh, this is a cool thing that everybody gets on their PSP nowadays, just in case you're curious. That's right. There it is. My little intro. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, that's a good place to pause it here. Um, all right, so thanks for coming to check out the PSP. Like I said, check that um, description for an update on the game swap on that list. I guarantee I will have some cool stuff in its place. No duplications allowed. Thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you want to reach me, you can get me at timothytimpc at yahoo.com or check me out on the Facebook page, Timothy Tim Space PSP. Thanks for coming again. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for all the subscribers. Game on! Yeah, game on!